Hey everyone, I'm going to share with you my top concealers. I have a few picks here in my hands. I just did a video on my top foundations. If you want to check that out, I'll put it right here. It caters to mostly fair skin tones like myself and so does this video of concealers and more so because it's a concealer. So if you want to see my top concealers, then just keep on watching. The first concealer I'm going to be talking about is this one right here. It is by Hard Candy. It is the Heavy Duty Concealer, the Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. This concealer will cover anything like this. They call it heavy duty for a reason because it is heavy duty. I got this one at Walmart. It was about $6. I believe there are six shades available. I looked on the website. There were five, but I think there's six. Um, but yeah, I did do a full review on this. Not a review. Well, it was more like my concealer routine with this particular concealer. I will put a link to it right here if you want to check that out. You do get 0.71 ounces in this concealer, which is a pretty big amount of concealer. Like, it's a big bottle, if you can tell. Like, I have big hands, and it's you get a lot of product for six dollars so it's really worth the money um i am in the shade 47 487 ultra light and that is the lightest shade and it is like white like white so if you're pale pick up this concealer because it is gonna match and like brighten up your under eyes so well the one thing about this concealer is you have to set it like underneath your eyes you have to or it will kick up and it will leave a like shiny finish to it so you have to set this concealer for it to actually work. Glamouflage heavy. Mm -hmm. The next concealer is this one right here and it is by MAC. It is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is $22 Canadian and you get 0.3 ounces in this little tube right here. I am in the shade NC15 and it is a really nice light pale um, concealer and I really like it. It does have full coverage which is awesome. The one thing about this concealer which I hate and I think everyone on this planet I'm gonna say I'm gonna speak for them right now we hate the pump on this the packaging is horrible this pump pumps out so much product at one time like you cannot control it. you have no control like you'll try and go slowly but it'll just spurt up like all this product which is really a downfall for this product because it is so great but the pump just doesn't do it for me but anyway the product inside within the pump is really great it gives you kind of like a neutral matte finish um which is really nice and i also do set this i always set my concealer but this concealer is really great it is a little pricey but it's worth the money to me oh one other thing about this mac pro longwear as great as the product is i kind of find that it smells like paint thinner does anyone else find that i don't know i think it smells like paint thinner but i really love this concealer the next concealer I'm going to talk about is the Smashbox High Definition Concealer in the shade Fair. This concealer I used forever. This was like my go-to concealer before I found the Hard Candy Concealer. In this you get 0.27 ounces in this little guy right here. So you can see the Glamouflage Concealer, like you can see how much you actually get in this and this is a lot. This is around $24 and there are six shades available I believe. I think I already said I'm in the shade Fair. This is really comparable to the Glamouflage concealer. This is a little bit of a thicker kind of formulation, but this one is still as good. I would choose my Hard Candy one over the Smashbox one any day, but this one is really great. On their website, it does claim that it like renews skin's appearance through some like energized cell whatever. I'm not too sure, but this does really make your skin look great and it does look really natural when you put it on. So that's why I really like the Smashbox High Definition Concealer. The next concealer I'm going to talk about is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer right here. I am in the shade 001 Fair and it is again a really nice light um, concealer that really matches my skin tone. This does um, range around $10 depending on where you get it again. In Canada it's more expensive than the States blah 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 and like I said just depends where you buy but I really really like this uh, concealer. It is oil free and fragrance free which is great in comparison to the MAC one because that does smell like you're like doing some home hardware or something. Like it, I don't know what, it, like did they, I don't know. I can't get my words out but anyway I really like this concealer. There are six shades available in this concealer and it's just great for just rubbing on your eyes and just heading out the door. Like if you're going to work early in the morning or just running out to the grocery store and you want to look nice because someone with really nice arms is there and you're just like 
like, oh hey, I look like this all the time, this is a concealer that I would put on. But then of course I would put a full face of makeup on if he had really nice arms and then I'd go there and I'd be like, oh look at me. Anyway, so yeah, that's all I really have to say about the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. It's really creamy, it just glides on nicely. Um, you get a fair amount of product in here. How much do you even get in here? I don't even think it says, but it's just really nice, really creamy. It's one of the stick concealers that I actually like. The final concealer I'm going to be talking about is the Bombs Time Bomb Concealer, which is right here. I got this one off of Outlook, and at first I really didn't like it because I thought it was a lot darker than I thought it actually was but once I actually got it into normal lighting it actually matches my skin tone really well. Um, I usually don't go for concealers that are in a little jar like this just because I find it very unsanitary and this isn't my whole this just just isn't me but I really really like this concealer so yeah I got it off Outlook and I got it for a really great discounted price on the Bombs website it is $18 which is a little pricey for a concealer but you do get a lot of product in here and because of how it's packaged and the formulation and the thickness it will last you a really long time there are 12 shades available in the Time Bomb Concealer, which is an anti-wrinkle concealer. Um, I got the shade Lighter Than Light, and you do get 0.26 ounces in this bad boy. There are some beneficial ingredients for this concealer, and I'm just going to read them off my phone because trying to memorize this and remember this, I just stumble upon my words. So, beneficial ingredients are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, soybean oil. It says it's a treatment for under eye area and doesn't settle into lines. It really doesn't settle into lines. That's something that I wanted to point out. Even though it is a thick consistency because of the paste that it is, it really goes on smoothly. Again, I set this concealer like any of my other concealers and I really adore this concealer. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, those are my top five, I guess, concealers that I really love. Those are my go-to concealers. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye! The pump pumps up, pumps, pumps up, pumps out. There are some beneficial in but yeah, um, and oh, energize ri ri ribos renews skin appearance. This found fair, and this. Why do I keep wanting to say? So in here, you do get two point. The bomb in is lighter than light, and it and the shade I got is ultra. No, such high. It's just like ugh. this concealer. It, it, mm, to a club with a full face on this is the one I'm going to choose like I could be up until 7 a.m. and my face would still look flawless with this foundation